What's going on, Gavin Squad? We're here with another reaction video for you today. So we have Nuke's Top 5. This is my first time reacting to Nuke's Top 5. Man, let me tell you, this is this is totally different than what I usually do. I usually do music reactions. I decided to change it up a little bit on my channel from time to time. So we got Nuke's Top 5. Top 5 ghost videos to scare your inner demons. Now look, man. I don't play with this paranormal shit. This shit, paranormal type of shit just freaks me out man so you guys gotta let me know in the comment section below that you're with me and also let me know hashtag gavin squad or you can let me know both man if you really fuck with my channel now so we're gonna be getting into don't forget to hit subscribe like and share join the squad let's get it top five ghosts caught on camera the lighthouse keeper if you're one of the very few people who have never watched BuzzFeed Unsolved on YouTube, the series can basically be summarized like this. It's sort of a ghost hunting show, but not a typical one. The show has two hosts, Ryan and Shane. Now Shane is a diehard skeptic of the paranormal. Anytime there's like any chance of sort of any kind of mechanical failure or just doors in general, people are always like, well the door opens, so that's ghost. I don't want to argue with you on this. <laughs> If you're really, if you find it compelling, that's I'm happy for I you. I do find it compelling. Yeah, well, great. I'm happy. I'm happy for me too. Good. And then there's <laughs> Ryan, who is the polar opposite, and might even be just a bit too scared of the supernatural. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Ah! Oh. Oh, it's automatic In each episode, the two hosts visit allegedly haunted places and investigate to search for real paranormal evidence. This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we investigate St. Augustine Lighthouse as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, are ghosts real? No. In this episode, they are investigating the notoriously haunted St. Augustine Lighthouse in Florida. The lighthouse was completed in 1874 and has seen its fair share of tragedy over the nearly 200 years that it has been guiding sailors home from the sea. BuzzFeed Unsolved hosts Ryan and Shane begin their investigation at the historic Lightkeeper's house which is right beside the lighthouse. People say that they have heard the endless and painful coughing of the spirit of a man named William Harn. He was the very first keeper of the lighthouse back in the 1800s. Harn tragically passed away inside the house of malaria and the lung disease tuberculosis. When they try to reach out to the spirit of William, the two friends capture something truly bizarre. All right, we're gonna give you some silence here, William. If there's anything you'd like to say to us, Maybe a message you wish you could have communicated before you left Earth? Huh. I'm gonna sit in one of these little tiny chairs and make me look like you. <laughs> gonna give you some silence right now. Man, let me tell ya, let me tell ya, like I said, this paranormal stuff, it's a lot, it's a lot. Now, like I said, you guys gotta let me know you're with me, man. Because I feel like something's about to happen. Ryan and Shane captured the- Oh, hell! <sighs> this shit could be fake, too. This shit could be fake. Unexplained sound of someone coughing. Just like guests claim to have heard in the past. Could this be the spirit of William who died of tuberculosis? Next, Ryan and Shane finally enter the actual lighthouse, which is said to be a hotbed of paranormal activity. Oh. The best ghost evidence of all time, in my opinion, or at least oh, some of it, no. has been caught right here in this little rotunda. I mean, they caught an apparition full out just peeking over the railing. It is said that paranormal investigators always have an experience in the lighthouse when they are alone. So to test this theory, both Ryan and Shane will be locked inside separately to investigate. Shane heads in first for his solo investigation. Oh, fuck that. Man, you don't want to be alone. Hell no, bro. Like, I get it. Like, a lot of ghost hunters go at night because that's when apparently the ghosts are most active. Uh, but I would not, if, if I went ghost hunting, you, you could go with someone, but I would not want to separate. I don't, I would not want to be alone, bro. That, 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 that shit's too scary. But he doesn't really experience much. No. All right, so I'm that. going in there, going to the top. Yeah. And I'm coming back down. Yeah, that's the 
what you do on a staircase, yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> yep. This is high time for a ghoul to come out and spook me. So far, no ghouls. And this is allegedly the site of a lot of FBAs or full-bodied apparitions. I feel nothing. I really don't. I don't get any vibes. I haven't felt anything strange all night. All right, see you later, dudes. Next, it's Ryan's turn. And now, before we proceed, it should be noted here that during the building of the lighthouse, a young girl named Eliza tragically lost her life while playing at the construction site. Visitors have reported seeing a young girl in a red dress inside the lighthouse who just faded away into thin air right before their eyes. Everyone who's gone in there has seen something, for the most part, if they've gone by themselves. You know what? I'm eager to add my name to that roster. Bye. Bye. Oh, boy. Is there anybody in here with me right now? My name is Ryan. What? Can you say my name back to me? Oh, my God. I just heard Eliza. Oh, my God. Hell no. Eliza? Hell no. Why do you sound like that? Oh my god, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Uh, you sound like a dude. I do hear you. Oh my god, it just hard to hear me, I got the chills. Why am I leaving? Is that what the f is that what you just say? Because I'm scared, that's why. Sayonara, you had your chance. Fuck that, no, 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 no. Turn off your radio. Let me know y'all with me. I almost had a panic attack. Did you? I you said, are wet. I said, who's up here? What's your name? And it just so clear, just Eliza. Ryan is freaked out as he gets some very weird direct responses on his spirit box. One of the answers being Eliza, the name of the child that passed away at the lighthouse. Now Shane, on the other hand, didn't capture anything and is completely unimpressed with the whole location. But after the video is uploaded to YouTube, Many viewers pointed out that skeptical Shane might have actually caught the most compelling and absolutely chilling evidence of all. No. This is high time for a ghoul to come out and spook me. No. No. So far, no ghouls. Did you see it? Watch again. This is high time for a ghoul to come out and spook me. So far, no ghouls. A dark figure of a man can be seen standing oh, at the bottom of the hell. lighthouse. When the footage is brightened, the man has no distinguishable features and looks more like a black mass than a person. Now, oh, Shane was God. completely alone inside the lighthouse. Yo, let me know y'all with me in the comment section below. When he filmed. So just who or what is this? Could it hell be the ghost no. of one of the many deceased keepers who are said to haunt the lighthouse? You decide. All right, see you later, dudes. Bro, I don't. See, this is why I usually do music reactions. <laughs> the final night. Alexander Labozov from Russia says that he's been living in the same oh, apartment for over three years when suddenly and inexplicably, strange paranormal things begin to happen around his home. Loud, unexplained noises would wake him up in the middle of the night. Things around the house would move on their own. And scariest of all, one night when he was in bed, sound asleep, someone or something suddenly grabbed onto his wrist, squeezing hard. He jerked his arm away and lurched out of bed, searching his room. But there was no one there. He says Hell that no. the paranormal activity in his apartment just increased no, over time, until eventually he decided to just move out. So Alex is set to move out of his apartment the next day. Yeah. Exactly. But he decides to try to record the strange supernatural activity one last time. This video was meant to be Alex's last night in his apartment. First, he sits in front of his camera and explains what's been going on in his apartment. As he's talking, he hears something strange. The fuck is that? No. No, no, no. Man, no!
просто знакомый звук. Изредка я услышал, но похож. Something moves somewhere in the apartment, and Alex believes it might have been the kitchen cabinet door. He decides to set up his camera in his bedroom and leaves for two hours to meet up with a friend. Hello? Да, 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 сейчас приеду, а? Давай, давай, давай. Alex turns off the light and leaves. But what happens while he's gone? is truly bizarre. Oh, no. Oh! No, no. Hell no. Let me know y'all with me. This shit. No, 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 no. Oh! Man, I don't like this vid. Let's go to vid number three. No. Stop moving. Is he home? Alex returns home and just goes to bed. To the back of his the next chair. day, he discovers that his landlord is unavailable to pick up his apartment keys. And after reviewing his footage, Alex is unsatisfied with the potato quality video he has recorded in his dark apartment. Oh, not another one. So he decides to stay one no! more night. This time, leaving the camera recording, but with the lights oh, on. No. Just like the night before. He again leaves to meet up with a friend. Oh, no. The camera captures something downright creepy. Oh! No. See, this is why I don't play with the paranormal. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, there's, there's no, there's no way this is fake. There's, there's no way this is fake. Like, bro, this is why I don't play with the paranormal stuff, man. This shit's scary, man. I don't even watch the paranormal activity movies. Alex is shocked when he comes home as he discovers that his camera has somehow flipped upside down all on its own. He grabs the camera and begins to film his thoughts on the strange situation. Mm -mm. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. It already was terrifying. Yes, Matru. On a sudden rib ne din. Ну вообще жесть. 
Ну, что я могу сказать? Это был последний день, поэтому мы уже... Блядь! What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> oh, do срачки, ё... Это можно вообще... О, oh, блядь... of legs can be seen standing right behind Alex in the doorway. The legs appear to have no torso and disappear before Alex can even turn around. What? So, did Alex capture proof of the paranormal in his apartment? Or is it illusion? I leave it up to you. Okay, even if you could say that's an illusion for the legs, how is it an illusion for shit flying off the counters and all that by itself? There was no one else in that room. Unless, unless this dude has telekinetic powers, which I doubt he does. To decide. Viewer mm -mm. videos. Ethan Budzinski was on a family vacation in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania when strange things began to happen in his rented Airbnb home. Late one night, Ethan and his family hear the sound of a baby crying from somewhere in the house. Now Ethan's two young nephews are asleep in bed upstairs, so he immediately runs up to check on them only to find that they are both quietly asleep in bed. This occurs several times. Ethan hears crying, then goes upstairs to find the children quietly asleep. So the next time Ethan hears the crying, he pulls out his phone and starts recording. I, I, speaking of crying baby and like paranormal shit, back when I was in ninth grade, I was, um... I was, I was an idiot back then. My parents let me do like a military school for like a few weeks. Um, and it, like, keep in mind, we're all like elementary through high school age. None of us had babies. We're all living there. None of us had that shit. So it was just like two, three in the morning. I couldn't sleep. And there's just one floor above me. It, 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 and uh, the floor above me, no one was staying at. It was totally abandoned. And I heard it like a crying baby up there. That shit was the most scary shit, man. Then, then, then I was really awake. Then I, I couldn't sleep after that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Count. You hear it too? Yeah. Yeah. I just went up there. He was sound asleep. Okay, that's what I heard. The eerie sound of a child crying can indeed be heard coming from somewhere upstairs. Both Ethan and a family member hear the sound, but when he heads upstairs to check, just like before, the children are fast asleep and not making a sound. So just where is this strange unexplained crying coming from? Let me know what you think down in the comments a british nuke stop by viewer who wishes to remain okay so that 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 at least wasn't as scary as as the fourth one number four man that shit was terrifying man that i did not like that one the crying baby all right that's that's not too bad an anonymous we'll call her jen says that she had a chilling experience that wasn't paranormal but was terrifying nonetheless and as i've personally always said on this channel Real people can be much scarier than anything supernatural. That's fact. So late one night around midnight, Jen starts receiving messages from a guy on Facebook. At first, she plays along. 
but the messages from the stranger just get creepier and creepier. I'll correct some of the typos and slang and save you from listening to me doing a terrible British accent. <laughs> but what you see on screen are the actual messages. So, at one point, the guy suddenly writes, Well, since you're up, uh, can I come and meet you then? Yes, I am mental. What? I'm on my way down to your house. I'll ring when I'm outside. What? Thinking he's joking, Jen laughs it off, writing back, You don't even know where I live. And then the guy starts trying to creepily call her on Facebook, because it turns out that he does actually know exactly where she lives. Oh! He types, You live next to my granny's house. Bro, that, that's when you get the gun. That's when you get the gun. I'd greet that motherfucker with my 12 gauge. On the corner. Then he continues to call her, and things go from bad to worse. Oh no. Because he actually shows up right in front of her house. What? <laughs> Did you see it? Don't make me knock, please. He messages. I'm outside the center window right now. What? Jen is now on. Bro, no, no. No, no. That Bro, that's when you greet the motherfucker with a gun. I, but this is even paranormal. Why are you trying to scare me even more than I'm already scared? I'm still freaked out from the forfeit. Understandably completely freaked out. She tells the guy that she is not coming oh. out under any circumstances, but he won't take no for an answer. Is that your window at the front? How do I get in your back garden? No. Jen replies, What? You don't and ends the conversation but it did not end there jen says the disturbed young man stood in front of her house for almost two hours two he eventually hours? left after her family members went outside and told him to leave or they would call the police so i guess the takeaway is either be careful of who you talk to online or simply facebook sucks or both Susan's Courtside Cafe in Kissimmee, Florida was originally built in 1912, and over most of the last 100 years, the building was actually a small home for many families and individuals. Locals believe that the building the cafe is in is haunted by the spirits of its former residents. Workers at the cafe say that they often hear unexplained noises while working late at night, and both the staff and visitors claim to have seen bizarre shadow figures throughout the restaurant. Nuke's top five viewer, Valerie Ann, says that she went on a Halloween ghost tour in Kissimmee that stopped at the allegedly haunted Susan's Courtside Cafe. And it seems that the rumors of paranormal activity might be true. Valerie caught this strange footage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just saw something walk by. Really? Did you see it? No. It's a little hard to make out, but a dark figure seems to quickly pass through the cafe dining room before just disappearing. Mm -mm. Someone in the tour group mentions it, but Valerie Ann is shocked when she discovers that she actually caught the apparition on camera. She says that she has no idea who or what this mysterious figure could be. Mm -mm. But what do you think? Mm -mm. The home of the gin. Man. I mean, I'm gonna do more of these videos, but this is just crazy to me, man. And, and this new, this new top five guy really tried to scare me with a with a person video too, to me, as if I wasn't scared enough. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below. What with you? One of the OG Saudi door kicking ghost hunters that I first featured on this channel, Adventurer Allah, is back with an all new YouTube channel. In this live stream, Allah goes to investigate a large abandoned building that is said to be oh, haunted by an stream? evil presence, or Jinn. Mm -mm. As he broadcasts his exploration live, things take a terrifying turn. Hey, Jamal. I see that I don't see on the tour, on the tour, on the tour. In the name of Allah. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Thank <laughs> you. 
Even though there's no power in the building, the ceiling fan begins to rotate on its own. Then a heavy table falls over right behind Ala. Freaked out, he runs away, retreating to a different section of the large building. Oh no. But little does Ala know. Okay, his first mistake was coming there alone. Oh, things are about to get even mm -mm. creepier. Mm -mm. What's that? Hasbi Allah. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum. La ta'khudhuhu siratun wa la nawm. Lahu ma fi al-samawat wa ma fi al-ard. What the? Man dha alladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi idhnih. Ya'lamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum. Wa la yuhaytuna bi shay'in min ilmihi illa bi ma sha'a. Wasi'a kursiyuhu al-samawat wa al-ard. ولا يودوا حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم من كان في هذا المكان سحر فابطله الله أكبر Get out of there, dude! Get out! Run as fast as you can! Ah, jeez. Fi ahad? Fi ahad fil makan? Bismillah! Bro, no. Uh uh. Uh uh. Bro. I swear, these ghosts don't want to be uh, bothered. That's why they scare people off. They're like, oh no, I'm dead. I want to be left alone for eternity. Mm -mm. Oh. Hasbi Allah, and I'm a wakil fikum. الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سرة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسأكر سعر السماوات والأرض A terrifying dark mist-like figure can be seen in a doorway and a pair of crutches aggressively flies across the room right in front of the terrified explorer. He investigates the area, but nothing there. The mysterious dark mist has simply disappeared, but it's not over yet. Oh my, of course it's not. ومن كان في سحر معقود فطل في صوت في صوت في صوت أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق بسم الله الذي لا يذر مع اسم شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع Oh, he's the Lord. Why are you still there? I would have been out. Oh, 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 oh. A plate falls off a table on its own. Then another ceiling fan begins to rotate, and a large, heavy closet moves as if. Why is this dude still there? I would have been gone. I would have been long gone. I would have already been home. Pushed by some powerful unseen force. Something is thrown at Allah, injuring his foot. And after that, he's had a... I, I take it back. I take it back. I wouldn't be there in the first place, especially alone. About enough. Yeah, get that Allah out of decides there, to just get out of there and end his live stream. So did adventurer Allah capture a... Keep in mind, this shit was not fake. How, how is this edited and manipulated if, if, if it's on a live stream? Just saying. Real haunting by a terrifying djinn? 
Oh. Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. Like I said, it's not a hoax if, if it's a live stream. How could that be manipulated through editing software if it's a live stream? Live stream, it, it, it's what's happening right then and there. Right. Return to the Red House. Paranormal uh, investigator Kevin Barranco me. from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto <laughs> returns to explore the historic La Casa Colorada, or the Red House, in Guadalajara, Mexico. The house was built in 1923, and it is said that the remote and secluded location became a place where cults performed dark rituals. Those brave enough to explore the old house claim to have seen witches, demons, and even the skeletal female figure of Santa Muerte, a Mexican saint who is said to wear a long cloak and be the personification of death itself. Now, two months ago, I featured Kevin's first visit to the Red House years ago. While exploring the house with his friends, the group captured something that they simply couldn't explain. Cut to two years later. After many requests from his fans, paranormal investigator Kevin returns to the quote, Red House, in hopes of capturing even more paranormal evidence. But this time, he decides to go back all alone. As you might guess, it did not go well. I get why, I get it. You, you come in there at night because apparently at night, paranormal things are more active. I get that, if you wanna catch it on footage. But why are you going alone? Well, Kevin sets up several static cameras around the house. Then he lights three candles and starts to ask questions to who or whatever might be haunting the abandoned home. Kevin is using an English spirit box app and translates the responses to Spanish. Before long, very strange things start to happen. Voy a utilizar Get out of there, man. Get out. Scarlet. 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 Podrías hacerme daño? Throw. 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 Throw what? No sé qué es throw. Lo voy a buscar. Lanzar. As Kevin repeats the word throw in Spanish, a heavy piece of rubble is seemingly thrown off the edge of a large hole in the wall. Mm. Kevin grabs his camera and walks through the building in search of mm. anything paranormal. I gotta hand it to him though. He got balls if he's doing this alone. I can't see anything, it's all black. Me quedo sin luz. Me quedo sin luz. Man, just get out of there. Sin luz. Sin luz. What is that? Mm -mm, get out of there, man. Get just <sighs> let me know, y'all, with me. Let me know in the comment section below. First, I thank you for making it this long in the vid. I know this is a long vid, man.
I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Let me know, y'all, with me in the comment section below, or let me know hashtag Gavin Squad, or let me know both, man. Ugh, fuck. Get out of there, man. Just get out of there. At this point, just get out. The ghost hunter's light begins to fail. Then he hears a noise and turns. Without knowing it at the time, he captures something strange in the darkness, quickly darting out of sight. Soon after, Kevin's camera begins to malfunction and things take an even more terrifying turn. But like the real question is, like I said, if, if these ghosts are out here, why are they trying to not be seen? Why are they trying to not be heard? Uh, well, sometimes heard, but y'all know what I mean, right? Like, why are they like basically trying to scare the shit out of people and then like dart out of sight? Hey, man, 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 this too. Mi cámara está trabada. Ven. Está trabada. Just get out of there, dude. Just get out. Se trabó. Mm -mm. Está completamente trabada, ven. Lo voy a apagar. No. Ven. Ahí se apagó, pero sigue trabada. ¿Me quieres hacer daño? Voy a cambiarla. Voy a sacarle la pila. Ya. Bro, it's messing with your technology. It doesn't want to be recorded. Kevin's yeah, camera like completely it. locks up, and as Get he out, changes man. the battery, a wailing moan can be heard, followed by the mysterious voice of a woman. Yeah. He goes to investigate and captures what appears to be the same mysterious cloaked figure that the Archivo Extinto team captured just two years earlier. Kevin searches the building and the grounds, but he doesn't find anyone or anything. When his equipment continues to malfunction repeatedly, he decides he's had enough. He packs up and just gets out of there. So could it be? Oh, so now he's decided that he had an... Man, I would have already been out. I wouldn't have been there in the first place, especially alone. Be that Kevin captured the apparition of Santa Muerte, the cloaked lady of death? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full three-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on the Instagram here. On uh, the Instagram. And on the Twitter. The Twitter. Here. And even on the, the TikTok. The TikTok. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Man, fuck that. Fuck all that noise. <laughs> I, I, I definitely plan on checking out some more uh, new sci fi for sure. Uh, stay tuned. I have more videos coming for y'all soon. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate the support. I know this is a super long vid, but uh, I mean, the original was a long vid too. So, uh, thank you uh, for sticking around. Uh, let Thank you for if you guys. Let me know you were with me or Gavin Squad in the comment section below. Thank you. Uh, that shit was crazy, man. Like, I would not be there. <laughs> I would not be in the, any of those situations. Well, actually, the, the fourth vid, you can't really help because, you know, that's where you live. 
that shit was crazy. I, I feel like that one was the most scary one, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys thought. Like, what one was the most scary for y'all in the comment section below as well. And, uh, again, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share. Join Gavin Squad, man. Let's get it.